So today I wanted to talk a little bit about locker room etiquette when you are playing beer league hockey. So before I start, don't forget to subscribe below and like this video when you're done with it, if you like it. Uh, number one, let's talk about nudity a little bit in locker rooms. I am not going to talk about men's only locker rooms because I'm not a man. I've never been in a men's only locker room because clearly the second I step in, it wouldn't be men's only anymore. You guys do whatever you want to do in your men's only locker rooms. What I do want to talk about though is co-ed locker rooms. Again, the uh, children's locker rooms, totally separate thing. Not going to talk about that either. This is only for people 18 and above. But if you do have a co-ed locker room, I, I want to talk a little bit about nudity because it's interesting how it has kind of changed over the years. As a woman who started really only about five years ago, three, four, five years ago, whatever it was, um, I was subjugated to a women's only locker room. I wasn't allowed to go in the men's locker room, which is kind of, kind of sucks, especially when you only have a couple women on your team. You're sitting there before and after the game with one other person while everybody else gets to have fun in the locker room. So, but now, uh, pretty much co-ed locker rooms, it seems like people are good with dressing with each other. But the one thing I will say about being a man in a co-ed locker room, the one rule, just always think it to yourself, is just be respectful. That's all we care about, you know? So a lot of times in the uh, leagues I play in, men will take their under things, right? Anything that is going to expose things we don't want to see. And they'll go to the bathroom and change those things before they start to put everything else on. We're used to seeing people walk around in their shorts, you know, without a shirt on, things like that. That's not the point. The point is anything under that that we really, really don't want to see and may scar us just a little bit. So don't do that. Couple of sort of exceptions to that though. One is that we as women, and you know what, even men, we're taught don't look at anything. <laughs> I, I was, one of the first rules in hockey I was taught was avert your eyes. Don't let your eyes wander across the locker room because um, it is not going to be good for anybody. The second thing is going to be the shower. So obviously nobody expects you to shower with clothes on. Um, but again, be respectful. Wear a towel into the shower, wear a towel out of the shower. We as women understand if we want to take a shower, we have to either shower with men, which I don't know anybody who does that, or generally they'll find us another locker room to shower in. So um, when you're going in there, just wear a towel in, wear a towel out so we don't have to uh, see anything. <laughs> All right, the next thing, and this is kind of along the same line of the whole nudity thing, is do not use your cell phone in a locker room. And I'm not saying don't use it to play music. I'm not saying don't check your email. I'm saying don't take pictures, don't take video, don't do anything that would make people uncomfortable. There's kind of an unspoken rule of what happens in the locker room stays in the locker room, and that includes the uh, cell phones and photos and Occasionally you'll take a team photo in a locker room, but that's when everybody's dressed and everybody has your permission. No off the cuff photos of locker rooms and especially if you're gonna post it somewhere because it's just not cool to do. All right, the next rule is bring your own supplies. And you know what? It's It happens to all of us. Somebody will forget a glove, somebody won't have enough tape, they'll run out of their tape, your screw will come out of your helmet and you need some help with that. That's okay, nobody's gonna blame you for that. What this means when I say bring your own supplies is if you run out of tape and you borrow some tape one time, great, somebody's gonna help you out. But if you do it every single week, say, ah, oh, I forgot to get tape again. It's like, you know, tape's expensive. We don't want to be supplying somebody else their tape every single time they play because it's like, it's just like you should bring your own tape, you should bring your own wax, you should bring all of that stuff because we're all bringing it. So that's kind of one thing that people don't love in hockey locker rooms. All right, last and certainly not least is it's called beer league hockey for a reason. And that means bring beer. It, you know what, you don't have to drink beer, um, but it's kind of a camaraderie kind of thing where if you bring beer, especially if you're just starting out, people are not only going to remember you, but they're going to like you. And I hate to say it, but you're kind of bribing them. And again, you don't even have to drink, but it's nice to bring beer because it is kind of the thing that we all do. And people will, again, just kind of remember you, especially if you're brand new and you're trying to get a permanent spot on a team, there is nothing better than bringing beer after a game. 
So those are really just some of the locker room rules, but I thought it would be very helpful, especially if you have not yet started and you're not yet in that locker room or you're trying to figure things out as you get into your first locker room. There are just some things to remember as, uh, as you do that. So good luck. Let me know if I missed anything and let me know what topics you want to hear about because I, uh, I have a list, but I am running out. So <laughs> let me know what you want to hear about beginning in adult hockey. And thank you for watching.